As we saw in the previous video, plenty of great information here with show CDP neighbor, but the only little problem is we're not getting the IP address of that particular device or the two devices we see here. For that information, we can add detail to the end of this command. And what you're going to do is get a field for each singular device. So at the top, we have device ID R3, which we've already seen, and right below that, entry addresses, here's an IP address, 2111. Again, obviously fantastic troubleshooting information. Otherwise, you're pretty much getting what you're getting in Show CDP Neighbor, just in a slightly different arrangement. There's your hardware platform, there are your capabilities, there's the local interface, there's the remote interface to which we're connected, there's the whole time. You do also get the iOS software version that it's running, and you'll also see some information about VTP domain management. Uh, this is the VLAN trunking protocol. We haven't covered that yet in the course, but we'll change domains, we'll name them, and you can also see that information here. I'll show you some other commands at the time, of course. Duplex setting of the port and any management addresses that are set. And then below that, we get a field for R4. Same information, same fields, I should say. And the, the thing is, it's not a huge drawback with this command because it is nice to be able to get the IP addresses this way. The only thing, though, with detail that's a little odd is that you don't have an option to say show CDP neighbor detail and then name the neighbor. If you want to do that, you can run show CDP entry and your options here are to specify the name of the CDP neighbor entry, not the IP address, but the name. Or if you wanted to see all of them, you could put an asterisk here. And that would really be the same as running show CDP neighbors detail. But let's run that just for R3 and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the CDP command I was hinting at that is lesser known than the others in the neighbor commands. But again, this can be very helpful. And it's just what you're doing is filtering show CDP neighbors detail. That's really what you're doing. So some good stuff here with CDP. And I mentioned in the previous video that CDP is a fantastic protocol under the right circumstances. And it gives us great information and we love it. So we know that if there are right circumstances, there must be wrong circumstances. The thing with CDP is that it does present a security vulnerability. It can be used by intruders in more than one way for a more sophisticated attack. So in most production networks you encounter, you're gonna see CDP turned off. So if you're running a device and you don't get, say, a specific CDP is not running message, you might just get an empty table. If we had gone to the switch there and I ran show CDP neighbor and I didn't get anything, and let's just go, uh, let's do that real quick. The thing with show CDP neighbor, it's a little bit different when it doesn't have any specific information to give you. Because what do most show commands do? Most show commands, they just drop to the they just drop a line. If they don't have anything to show you, they drop a line and they go back to the prompt. Show CDP neighbor will still give you the code table and the table headings, but it's just not going to have anything under there. It doesn't mean that CDP isn't running on the switch. It means that CDP isn't running on the routers or whatever device, Cisco devices you have connected. So again, in production networks, you're probably going to have to turn it off and on uh, on your own. And the key there is, you know, we want to be professional about the entire thing. It may behoove you to ask to turn it on first. Uh, that's good professional courtesy. And on top of that, and this goes for debugs, this goes for CDP, anything that you turn on that wasn't on as far as a service or a protocol or a feature, make sure you turn it back off when you're done. You want, if you come in and you're troubleshooting a client site, a client site you want everything to be working when you leave, and otherwise you want everything to be the same as when you left. So again, it's very typical to turn CDP on when visiting a client site. Just make sure that you turn it back off. It's also a good idea, frankly, to be clear on which command enables CDP at the interface level and which one enables it globally, uh, as explained by this handy dandy chart. And I hesitate to call something like this a chart because it's actually just a couple of lines, but here you go. If you are working with CDP at the interface level, the command is CDP enable and no CDP enable. If you're working with it globally, the command here is CDP run or no CDP run and that's it. Let's go ahead and get back on the switch and we'll experiment with a couple of these commands. First off, 
we're going to go ahead and run a command show CDP interface. This is another one that doesn't get a lot of attention. But show CDP interface, and you can kind of see why it's giving you the same information about every single interface in this particular case. And we're not even worried about the encapsulation. We do see there sending CD packets every 60 seconds, and the whole time is 180 seconds, as we saw earlier. And you'll also note it does give you the up-down information as far as the physical state of the interface and the logical state of the interface. Let's see what happens when I actually turn CDP off on, say, uh, 3. I was trying to escape that. Sorry about that. Let's go to uh, interface 3, and we'll do a no CDP enable. And get a little console message there, but not much of one. And I'll run show CDP interface again, and you'll notice that interface 3 is actually gone. <laughs> it's actually gone from the list. Uh, it's not even going to say, oh, by the way, you know, you just turned it off or something. Again, show CDP interface. When you run it just like that and you don't specify an interface, if it's not running, if CDP isn't running on a particular interface, it just won't be in the list. Now, that's pretty easy to overlook when you're looking at an entire list. But if we run show CDP interface and then specify the interface, we'll get a little information on it and it will actually tell you CDP is not enabled on interface fast Ethernet 03. So if I were running one of those two commands and I needed information on one interface, I would run the more specific one because you will get more specific information. Now the command for global status or verifying global status is show CDP. And you'll notice it even says, hey, here's your global CDP information. And the most important thing here, we're sending CDP packets every 60 seconds. We're sending a whole time value of 180 seconds. So all is well there. But notice also that this command doesn't give you any information about, hey, by the way, it's been turned off on such and such interface. This is the global information only. So I disabled CDP on interface 3. I ran show CDP interface fast 0 slash 3. That gave me specific information about what just happened. But show CDP doesn't give me anything like that at all. So first off, let's go to interface fast 3 and do a CDP enable. And we'll just verify that with show CDP interface fast 0 slash 3. And you can see now we get the information. It's up and up and CDP packets every 60 seconds whole time, 180 seconds. We like it. Now, as far as disabling globally goes, let's go ahead. Give me one moment here. There we go. And actually, I put a no in front of it. That will work better. And a couple of options here, but you'll also notice the one we really want is run, which is right in the middle for enable CDP. And now I've disabled it, period, on the switch. So let me tell you what I'll show you what I was looting earlier. Actually, show CDP neighbor does take the table away. It didn't used to do that, so I'm glad we saw that. CDP is not enabled. So what happens if I just run show CDP? CDP is not enabled. Show CDP interface fast zero slash three. CDP is not enabled. So it's just going to throw it at you. It used to be a little bit different. I'm glad they changed that because now we can see the period. You're going to get this message. So let's go ahead and do a comp CDP. Yeah, and I'm going to start over with that one anyway.